Hi, this is Russ Hensel with Comprehensive Building Consultants. And here we have a Challenger panel. And on this panel, you're going to notice that there are a lot of what we call these tandem breakers. We're like they're the smaller breakers where there's two where a typical one would go. And if you notice, the top ones do not have the tandem breakers. Well, many times we get questions on Russ, where do these go? And how do you know where they go? Well, these type of tandem breakers, here and here, are allowed to be installed where the manufacturer tells you they're allowed to be installed. So I'm going to walk over and show you the panel itself. Here is the panel's legend, and if you notice, see the little red arrows, or excuse me, not the red arrows, the, the little arrows. And then on here, this tells you where the tandem breakers are allowed to be installed. So, the first four slots are not allowed to be tandem breakers, and they are not. And, everybody says, well, then, then Russ, I mean, it, there's the legend, and here is the electrical code right here. Let's let that uh, focus for a minute, where it says, installation and use. Listed or labeled equipment shall be installed, used, or both in accordance with any instructions, including in the listing and labeling. Um, so I'm hoping that clears that up for you. So this tells you where and why tandem breakers are allowed to be installed, and uh, it's always up to the manufacturer's guidelines, which can typically be found on the legend in the electrical panel. Once again, this is Russ Hensel with Comprehensive Building Consultants. Thanks.